Hi guys, we're back to talk about our least worn knits. Um, my name is Stacy. And I'm Tracy. And we are the Maker's Notebook. We talk about all things knitting, crafting, and all the things, food. <laughs> Anything that's, uh, you know, suit all fancy. Yeah. We just recorded episode 39, so we're like switching gears. So pardon our discombulated uh, demeanors. But um, yeah, so we just want to jump right into it. Yeah. Um, what are least, um, yeah. Yeah. Worn knits that we wear. So yeah. Tracy, you want to start with your first one? This is the Winston Shawl. And the yarn I used, this is Hearts on Fiber. This color is Hearts on Fiber, and the color is Dark, dark Magic, and the lighter color is Echo View Mill, Echo View Fiber Mill Lapidary, and both are fingering weight yarn, and this color is How Light, it's a cream color. Mm -hmm. And um, this pattern, great pattern, love Shea the design. Johnson, Shea Johnson is the designer. designer. Okay, great pattern, love the design, um, but I think what I did wrong is that I picked it up on the wrong side. And because it looked like I have two pointy ends now in the center. And because of that, I don't wear it. And I need to fix it. But I love it. It doesn't matter. It does doesn't it? matter? You think so? I don't know. Because to me, once you put it on, like... I try to wear it. Ah. Uh, yeah. So I try to wear it and it's just not looking right. And I feel silly. So I need to undo it. Oh, just undo this side. Oh, all you have to do. Okay. I gotta undo this. All she has to do is undo this. All this. This, this. This edging, all she has to do is undo that and then we just redo it here on this side. Yeah. Flip it and then do it on this side. side. Exactly. So but just do least, it. It's the least thing, it's one of the shawls I don't wear often for that reason. And it's like, look at that. It's just, just do it. Because it's such a beautiful color. It is a gorgeous like, color, right? And it's a beautiful pattern. It's a gorgeous pattern and it's fun to knit. Okay, what do you guys think? Should she fix it and wear it? <laughs> yeah, I should fix this so oh, I, get rid of I it. must wear it, but it's like, I don't know, I don't know. I mean, who has the time? You know, I've got other things i got to fix too, and it's just like... No, just, un just undo it in front of the TV, just start undoing it and unwinding. It's perfect. You can do it, yeah. honestly. Yeah, but uh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Th this one I have never worn. It's just been sitting in my closet. I've never worn it. For that reason because she messed up because i messed that's the gist up. of it <laughs> i mean who doesn't mess up something and then they're like oh i did it wrong and it's just like i have one of those upstairs that i need to undo but i do i was thinking about it, it i did it a few years ago and i'm like it was for a test knit and it's a brioche project and i'm like i thought it popped into my head the other day i think because i was digging through looking for some sewing supplies and i saw it i'm like oh yeah i need to undo that project how many of you when you do something when you in the beginning of your knitting days and then you're like oh yeah i gotta fix that because you get better over time and then you're like oh my gosh the other projects are calling me yeah the shiny new yeah thing that's, yeah. yeah unless you absolutely just you know have to go fix it i mean you keep putting it on the bottom of the list bottom of the list bottom of the list you know yeah so so my least worn net is my Rosemont cardigan. And I posted a picture of this on the last episode, episode 38. This is the Rosemont cardigan by yeah. Hannah Fettig. Yeah, I have this, yeah. This was my very first net using Quince and Cole Lart. <laughs> and um, why I don't wear it. I mean, it came out good enough, but there's, um, I'm trying to find it to show you. And now I can't find it making me into a liar but anyway one of these sleeves um the switches were twisted mm. the stitches were twisted i um i i twisted the stitches it wasn't supposed to be done that way in the pattern and um it's bugging no i can't find it what on earth <laughs> because when i'm wearing it i could plainly see it oh here we go is that it it looked like it yeah, right there? Yeah. The location right there? I don't know if you can tell. I saw so, Maybe I'm just being silly. But anyway, here, I guess when I picked up for the sleeves or something, I might have twisted the stitches. Mm -hmm. They were oriented incorrectly. I was off camera, sorry. And so look, if you can see it here. 
Yeah, now you can see it. Yeah, so that bugs me. Yeah. I like the cardigan. I like the color. I, you know. So, when I asked, let me ask you. I have the same thing, right? Same cardigan I knitted. And I love wearing mine. I made mine with Barocco wool, uh, Barocco um, yarn, and I love it. I throw that thing in the washing machine all the time. But when I'm wearing it, my collar mm -hmm. here tends to go backwards, like, kind of falls off. It doesn't roll like, and that drives me insane. What do you mean? It, it doesn't it's, stay like that? No, mine doesn't stay. Mine ends up going like that instead of staying rolled down. Oh. Does yours do that? No. So it makes me wonder if, you know, what did I do wrong? Oh. Oh, are you thinking maybe you put it on the needles incorrectly or That's something? That's what I'm wondering. So anyway, I love wearing mine. It's just I wear it at home when it's cold Well, outside. that's what I should do. But I'm so, like, one of those weird people, like, everything's got to be perfect. <laughs> so I'm like, eh. I should wear it, though. Honestly. I'll wear mine home. I should just fix the sleeve and wear it if that's the only problem. I'm telling her to do that. I mean, <laughs> I should follow my own advice, honestly. <laughs> uh, <laughs> see, at least one thing, right? It's something that's fixable, but it's like trying to get the time to do it. No, we have time because we're casting on new projects all the time. <laughs> okay, fine. <laughs> oh. Just don't want to. <laughs> exactly. Don't want to. <laughs> but it's I mean, I enjoyed make. I, I totally enjoyed knitting that sweater. Totally yeah. enjoy it. And like I say, I love wearing, for me, I love wearing it at home. You know, in the winter months, especially when it's cold outside. I love it. It's nice and cozy, like socks. Yeah. So, yeah. So keeping the train rolling, what is the next one? So the next one I have is, uh, this sweater is, um, I first... I should have done a better job preparing this. I'm sorry. Is Ocean, um, the Ocean sweater. And um, Stacy will flash the information on the bottom here who it's by because um, I didn't write it down. But this sweater is called Ocean. And the yarn is Chelsea Lux Merino DK. And it's a great sweater. Um, great project to knit. Found Chelsea love in Lux. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I don't wear it. What? I don't know. Why? So the neckline comes up right here. It feels like it chokes me. I don't know if I chose the wrong size, but the body's pretty wide. So here's the question. Did um is it where is it one of those where you knit the the separately? No. I mean you professional mm -hmm. cast on and then you It could have been, I don't remember. No, but because if so it's an easy fix, right? So that's what I'm asking. Could be. Could be. I have to go back and look. But it chokes me up here. I don't like anything coming up right here on me, right? Especially right here and it's just pulling back this way. I don't like that feeling. And then another thing is, I, you know, I knitted it per the instructions because it's supposed to be a crop sweater. And it's a little too cropped for my taste, right? I, I don't mind crop because I could wear something underneath it. But it's, I look like a borrowed it for my child. Um, but everything else fits fine. So if anything, I would like to make it longer and fix this neckline here and if it's that maybe i'll show you the pattern and maybe you can you know so um tell me what you think you have more of this i believe so it's knitted perfectly i mean you should see the stitches yeah it's really nice but it's chelsea Lux. i don't want to, to go to waste sitting in my closet no i would i would be like if you don't want to do that i'm gonna take this you and i don't do it myself <laughs> So I just need to fix this collar, this collar and make the sweater a little bit longer, just a little bit longer by a couple inches. So then I could wear it because everything else fits fine. But can't you layer it with something underneath? I thought about doing that, but it's just like, you know, because of my, the way I, I have short legs and it's just like, it don't look right. Hmm. I don't like how it look. But I want it just a little bit longer, just maybe an inch longer or maybe an inch and a half longer. Well, maybe start there. It's because when I put it up against me, I'm like, oh, yeah, this looks fine, you know? But then when I put it on, it's just like, oh, too short. I wonder if it, it's a blocking thing. Like, maybe you think it would block it to pull? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But, yeah, I have never worn it. Oh, well, I shouldn't say that. I wore it once to pot. But that was it. I it's so worn nice. It since. It's, it's a great pattern. Sweater. And the yarn is phenomenal. Right? It feels good. Yeah, it feels lovely. It feels and, like this. Yeah, but like I said, I don't like anything cutting up into my neck. That's, 
my biggest issue is the neck. Did you read anybody else's comments to see if they had the same issue? Or? No, because that would make too much sense, Stacey. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have I'm not thinking about that I should no I should I will go read and see what other people say and go from there but um yeah it's a lovely pattern and a lovely sweater hey you know you can even wear this inside out can't you I know it's lovely I love this sweater because it's like it's a pro you wear it on the pro yeah. side but then if you wear it inside out it's knitted it's nice it's reversible look at that no that's a you must fix yeah but yeah no justification here okay <laughs> yeah tough crowd right? yeah. <laughs> so the other thing i have is arada by jennifer steingas and i'm oh, looking at it i'm like oh it's so nice right yeah it's baroque the blue is baroque ultra yeah. fine and denim and Gorgeous. then this cream color in here is wolf folk snow oh zero one and zero two it's one color, but they call it zero one and zero two. I guess because it's um, there's two colors in there that they <laughs> dyed it with. Anyway, it's a subtle color work, right? Like, I think for me the problem with this is I should have knitted a bigger size. Really? Yeah. It looks pretty because. To me, it um, maybe I can reblock it and see if it, it stretches out a little bit more. But it, I feel like I think it's right here. It feels tight. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, I can see what you mean. Right here. Yeah, the it, color work. This it right ends. here, I feel it. I think when you pull it, but it drives right me nuts. Right here feels. Yeah. Yeah. It's driving me bonkers. Yeah. <laughs> so, but otherwise, I mean, it's a lovely sweater yeah. right yeah it's gorgeous i love the color I tell you baroque don't sleep on it it's a wonderful yeah so um yeah and, and i love the neck edge i like that mm -hmm. kind of edge that's mm -hmm. pretty nice um i'm looking at it, i'm like oh i wish i could wear it but this right here I don't like tar anything tight on my arm. Yeah. I don't, I don't, I don't like, like any that. tight on the arm here. No, no. That would drive, like, it gives me a headache yeah. just thinking about it, yeah. honestly. Yeah. <laughs> so this is the reason why um, I don't wear this. But it's so pretty. So oh would God. you reblock it to see if it works? Or would you have to undo all of that? See, that would turn me off right there. I feel like... I wish I know somebody small, like smaller, who would, could fit this. And then mm -hmm. if they, if this felt right for them, then give it to them. Mm -hmm. I would love to find that person. So. It's so pretty. I wonder if Desiree would like it. Yeah, but I wonder. No, I feel like so part of the problem I realize this um, wool folk is not super wash, mm. and this is super, super wash. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the so, problem right there. Maybe, yeah, I don't know. Maybe I should have. I, I tend not to. Did I go up a needle size? I don't think so to do the color work. And so I don't really like doing that because I feel like it'll make it too holy. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Yeah. What do you guys think about going up needle size for color work? I mean, I don't know. I feel like my stitches look wonky. Right? If I have to go up a needle size. Because I feel like they don't look uniform to the body. With the rest of it. Yeah. Yeah. It looks odd. So I try to So yeah. It, yeah. Yeah. So I don't I don't wear this one. <laughs> That's a tough one. That's not one you could say, oh yeah, you know what? Just rip out the sleeves and do it again. Mm -mm. The whole thing you gotta rip out. And yeah. you could change the yarn or Give it to somebody else. Those are your <laughs> options. Yeah. The jury's out. Yeah. We'll see. Yeah. <laughs> I have three more. What about you? I have one and a half. Okay. Let's so I one. have, um, I, I totally did not pick up mine. <laughs> I left it on the bench. <laughs> um, the love note. I love my sweater, but I used, um, okay. The yarn I use is Amano yarn, um, Puna. And um, which is the same Amano yarn I used for my um, 
shawl the shawl i'm working on yeah, yeah. so this wrap i'm working on yeah. is the same amano for me i don't know if you if it's pretty popular out there, but anyway. Yeah. It's a beautiful yarn. It is beautiful. Don't get me wrong. It's beautiful, and it mm. came out really good. Now, this is a picture of me wearing it. Sorry about the reflection. Yeah. But that's a picture of me wearing it, right? And it fit beautifully. It's nice. However, it's itchy. Oh. I have a problem with itch. I'm so sensitive to itch. Yeah. And because of that, I don't wear it often. And the other problem is, um, but no, I shouldn't say the other problem, because I made it um crop for a reason but um because if i could make it longer i would because mm -hmm. i have yarn left over mm -hmm. um but the itch factor i cannot handle and even if i wear a tank top underneath it i still feel it on my arms yeah so that's why i don't wear it and i love this pattern right it's so like stacy she made it in a super wash which and now she loves it and maybe i should have done that but i didn't know at the time this is when i was needed, fairly new to knitting and i did not not the difference between superwash and non superwash and you know the itch factor because i didn't think the itch factor was big of a big deal to me until i started wearing it and it's like Ugh, i can't yeah. do this yeah so yeah so i don't wear that sweater i haven't really worn it at all so it just sits in my closet and uh collecting dust so yeah i don't know what i'm going to do with it um because you know i don't know anybody who will take it so <laughs> it's just sitting there collecting dust i don't know what to do with it <laughs> yeah so. maybe yeah. on Etsy. yeah i don't know i don't know i think either. people de-start like they have anyway the yarn yeah but not the whole sweater so what do you guys do with the knits that you don't wear yeah let us know yeah, that you can't, you know, you're not going to undo it because, you didn't, you know, you're not going to use the yarn. So. Talking about itchy. So I knit the Samal by Hohi Locatelli mm -hmm. oh, using yeah. the Toku fingering. Yeah, I remember this. Have you ever seen me wear this? No. <laughs> I got this yarn when I went to Utah and I swatched for something and... I put it against my neck. I'm like, mm-mm. So it's just sitting there. So, no. If you're, if, I'm sensitive to the niche factor too, and I cannot stand anything itchy. Something, I was thinking, okay, the car, it's a cardigan. Maybe I can layer it. Right. What? But I feel like this, I needed to go up. Okay, so the kind of stitches that's on this, and I, I'll have to flash the type of stitch, mm -hmm. but it was hard for me to figure out the gauge mm -hmm, on it. Mm -hmm. So anyway, I just went with her probably, uh, I believe this is a size medium actually that I knitted. So even if you wash it a couple more times, it'll still be- No, because this is a, a some. This is not super wash. I don't think too, too cool well is- super It doesn't soften over time at all? I don't, I don't know. Because I thought some of these things soften over time. They come hard and then they soften over time, no? No, this was blocked. Yeah, but you got to wash it more than once though, no? I, I heard, when did I see that? They were talking about that, you know, each wash just softens up. Uh, okay. Well, so, so the gauge thing is a question. Only because, I feel like this is more of a small than a medium. Mm -hmm. Pretty. And I like my garments loose. Like, I don't want it hugging me. So I feel like, okay, so when I go to buy clothes for myself out there, I always buy small tops. They fit perfectly. Medium is too big. But in the knitting world, I tend to knit medium because, well, especially with a whole he's pattern. So I don't think I met gauge on this. And because it's, I feel like even when I layered it with something, the little fibers still Picked you. Poked through the cotton Picture. of my, <laughs> the top I was wearing underneath it, and it like felt uh, itchy. Yeah, I didn't like it. I mean, try and wash it two or three more times and see if it will soften up. But I love this. I love yeah, it. It's gorgeous. It's so pretty. Mm. <laughs> I'll so take it from home and wash it myself. <laughs> it's honestly so sad. 
Maybe I'll take it. I'm Maybe it'll affect you too. Who knows? Because you're, sm- you're, you're you're more of a small than yeah. Me. You should, I definitely think, maybe wash it a couple more times and see. See if, and then reblock it. See if it'll stretch out some more. All right. And then if it doesn't work, if it gets softer, but the size still remain the same, I'll give it to you. Only okay. because, I mean, it's, yeah. It's gorgeous. I don't like things hug me too much. Yeah. It drives me nuts. Yeah. It's a beautiful <laughs> sweater, though. Nice. So I have the No Furl Sweater by Petite Knits. And what's uh, wrong with that one? The mohair. <laughs> I don't like mohair. This is when I learned I don't like mohair. <laughs> it's a gorgeous sweater. Gorgeous. I love it. And I'm like, if I could just pull the mohair out, I'll be so happy. Like some people, mohair don't bother them. And it's a bit, I knit it in a size medium and it's too big. Okay. Swap. <laughs> Problem you like solved. <laughs> you like mohair? I have, I made this sweater as well, and I would wear it, but I only wear it on very cold days. Yes. So I only wear it on cold days, and yes, it keeps you warm. I have to agree. I love this color. I love the color. I'm telling you, on baseball, when I got to sit out there in like 30 degree weather. Yes. Perfect, right? <laughs> this is perfect. And this yarn, this yarn is by um, Barnyard Knits Merino Nylon Fingering Weight Yarn, and um... The, 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 um, the, the, what you call so it? So nice. What is she? The halo is, um, Debbie Bliss Angel. Oh, I don't like it. I don't like the itch factor. Okay, well, give it to me. Seriously, if you want it, you can keep it. I just can't. I, can't. I just can't. I try wearing it under, with something underneath it and I'm getting shocked left and right from static. Um, mm -mm. and it's itching my neck and I'm like, <laughs> next thing you know, it's all turning red. Mm -mm. <laughs> it does itch me too, but that's why I gotta wear it when it's really. Oh. Exactly. And it's just like, it just sits in my closet. It's sad. It just sits in my closet. At least this sweater is fixable, right? Yeah. But that one, and I love that yarn. That uh, the, the, the dye, she has phenomenal colors. Oh my gosh. So anyway, yeah. So that's why I don't wear it. The itch. What's that? This is the um, Party Top by oh, yeah. Abby, Abby yeah. Nets. This is Madeline Tosh DK. Yeah. What's wrong? With I don't you? like it. Why? I don't like the style. I don't like the neckline. Okay. And I don't like the cropness of it. Oh yeah. If I like crop I don't wear a crop with a long thing underneath it, but I don't like when the way it comes into well, when I put it on, I feel like it hugs my waist a little too much so mm -hmm. it just looks weird mean, to me yeah. mm -hmm. the fit it doesn't fall smooth like in some of the tops that i've knitted where it's cropped and i wear um, a sh something underneath it and it falls very nice and smooth like some other sweaters i knit mm -hmm. not too long ago mm -hmm. but anyway this one doesn't do that mm -hmm. it, i don't know I don't know, it's something so about it, then it's so busy, right? Yeah. Like, it's so many colors. I'm like, okay. I think I'm definitely going to frog this. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. This is a frogger. Yeah. See, the sleeves are too short for me. I like long sleeves. I don't really like three-quarter sleeves. But it's like, else I'll be like, I'll take it. But no, I, I can't do the sleeves. Like, it's beautiful. I don't like this. Oh, you don't like that part? I don't like that neck. Oh. I thought you would like it. Yeah, it's beautiful though. It's nice yarn. <laughs> My line Tosh. I remember when you made that. So, like I... Um, so one day I'm going to fuck that. When I figure out what I want to make with it. You have more yarn left over? No. So what are you going to do with it? Make? I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, it's not like it's a, like a, a color that... Some people would love, right? And you could say, hey, I take this. And it's like, because it's a very um, busy color. It's beautiful. It's just busy. Maybe you can make socks with it. Oh, yeah. There you go. There you go. No, no. And the thing is, you can probably take, um, like, lace weight um, and hold it together with yeah. this. And yeah. you end up with, what, worsted? Yeah. You could probably do that. Yeah. That's an idea. 
Yeah. So once I figure that out, uh, I'm, I'm going to frog it. But yeah, this is a for sure frog. Yeah. But this has late, like little eyelets in here. You can't even see it. Because it's so busy. It's so busy. Yeah. But it's, um... Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, no. Not me. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Uh, and the last thing I have is Soldatna. And this is when I, I discovered that I don't really like... I like the sweater and I like the color. But I don't like wearing it. Okay. Not really. Not when it has more than two colors. Yes. So like that, that, that two color one is perfect. Yes. I'll wear it. Yes. But when it gets into more colors, I'm like, yeah, no. <laughs> um, so, except that vest that Stephanie from Edible Thoughts make um, by Skin Dare Oh, yes. I could totally see myself wearing that. Um, because it's a vest, right? And then you wear something under it to like, neutralize it mm -hmm. and especially depending on the colors if you pick like earth tone colors mm -hmm. it'll be perfect mm -hmm. but um yeah my soul darkna this is by caitlin hunter I think everybody was making this back then i wore it okay so how i know i don't like wearing it i think um the yarn here um did i put it here oh yeah the farmer's daughter and madeline tosh um so two colors um this orangey, this must, this reddish color here, this rust. Mot, rust <laughs> is Monarch. And the bronze, this color here is um, Gary Cooper, which is one of, uh, her, I think it's one of her best. I love that color by Farmer's Daughter. Mm -hmm. And then the blue is Madeline Tosh, Moon Glow. And then there's some, this cream in here. And that's Horn, mm -hmm. also by Madeline. Um, yeah, I. It's, so part of it is when I wore it, I wore it once, and I didn't feel like myself. Hmm. Like in terms of, you didn't feel confident and comfortable in it. I didn't feel like it was me. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Have you? I don't know. It's very nice. I mean, see, I cannot wear this in the summertime. I guess you wait in the spring or fall. And it's no, but it's not itchy at all. No, it's squishy. Yeah, it's beautiful. But it's. Have you? Am I the only person that have? Have you ever felt that way? Mm -hmm. Where you felt like this doesn't feel right? Yeah. Like it, it's not me. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, oh, how about you go buy a pair of jeans and you're like, oh yeah, this is nice. I spent a lot of money on it and it feels nice. And then when you get home, you're like, no me. I don't like this. I like it. I like this pattern. I like when, I love when Caitlin Hunter had it on. Mm -hmm. it I looked thought amazing it looked on her. amazing. I just, you see, that's what. Even with a skirt on? No, I just, not. Okay, I think it's the environment we live in. In this area, people wear things a certain way. Like it's a lot of, um, I would say North Carolina has their own dress style. Oh yeah. I mean, I, I don't know how to describe it, honestly, but it's not this sort of thing. <laughs> so I felt like I, I, don't, I don't like to stick out. To, yeah. I, do, I don't mind sticking out. And you don't wanna draw too much of attention to yourself. Yeah. And I felt for this env environment, like, I don't know, it's not, maybe on a ski slope, <laughs> right? I just With felt like, mountains. yeah, I just, yeah, in the mountains, something. But I felt like it just didn't fit the lifestyle here. It just didn't feel right. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Comment if you guys know what I'm talking about, if I'm just being an idiot right now. <laughs> but, um, yeah. If the color com the color combo is beautiful. When she made this, I remember it's like wow, that's stunning. But um, it's like I understand with the multiple color work because I'm not a multiple color work person either, and that's why I never made it. I don't think it's the colors either. I think it's the motif. It's very rugged and mountainous type yeah. motif, right? Yeah, I, I don't think I've I don't think I've worn anything. Like I haven't bought any, I know J. Crew and those guys, they sell sweaters with these like um, fair isle looks. Mm -hmm. And I don't think that's my look. Right. Maybe that's, I don't know, okay. but yeah. Could be. 
um maybe if it was just two colors maybe i might might have felt a little different so that's why um even the vest that um stephanie's making i was thinking of how i can make it very monotonal mm -hmm, mm -hmm. right because then that'll be more me because i'm a, a monotone kind of person um yeah i don't like I don't mind, okay, so I don't like, I don't mind like this being a scarf around my neck. Right. These colors. Right. And so this was a pop. Because yeah. I don't mind that. Right. But when it comes to a garment, like I like it, I like it neutral. Yeah. I think that's more what it is. I'm more of a neutral girl, so I totally understand. <laughs> I get it. I get you it. know, um, Adela from Lola Bean, mm -hmm. when she, we met her mm -hmm. at a, um, a pop-up here in Charlotte. And we were looking at colors and we were like, oh, I can't decide what color. And she looked at us and she's like, yeah, you guys are more like, um, what'd she say? I forgot. More neutral color yeah. people. <laughs> like, girl, you hit it on the head. I wasn't sure if it was a compliment or not. <laughs> I took it as that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, we're boring. <laughs> anyway, so, yeah. That's funny. <laughs> And I think for this one, I did go up needle size for the color work. Mm -hmm. So I think, and so it's very stretchy and nice. Mm -hmm. um, it's beautiful. I mean, maybe so I could wear it at home. I'm going to wear it at home. I know, right? I mean, your short sleeve is totally doable, right? Because you could just wear a t-shirt underneath it. I and... always picture her wearing it with this, um, this uh, linen skirt. like a. Yes, but not here in this state. Yeah, I don't know. No. If this state calls for like... Leggings and shirts. I wear a hodgepodge here in this part of the state. Everybody's from everywhere because except for here. People from New Jersey, when I live in New Jersey, New York, people from up there dress differently than people from here. Yes. Even people from California, California dress yes. different people from here. Yeah. When we first, when I moved here, one time I went to the mall here in Charlotte and this girl, one of the people who worked there, she was like at, the, at a store we went into. She was like, um, where are you guys from? Because you're not from around here, the way you're dressed. <laughs> I'm like, oh. <laughs> Jeez. I never had that. Yeah. So, yeah. They're... Oh. It's like everybody that's here, nobody, in the years I've lived here, I've only met maybe one or two people that's from this area. Everybody's from somewhere else. Now yeah. forget about it. Now forget about it, yeah. yeah. There's nobody. All the people who were born originally here, all gone <laughs> yeah so yeah i think there's two people on my sh maybe three people on my street here that's from here i think so get out yeah everybody else is from somewhere else no maybe more a lot of people are from okay so i met this one lady who's on my daughter's cheer team i'm her, the mom she's from north carolina not the charlotte area but from north carolina but everybody else Florida, California, New York, New Jersey. Everybody's America, from New Jersey. Ohio. <laughs> oh, yeah. Everybody's from New Jersey. <laughs> it's ridiculous. It's like a class reunion down here. It is. It <laughs> is. It's like, uh, and I could tell when you're from, not from here, but where you drive. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's another thing. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, but, um, I've never had that issue with people, you know, I never paid attention too much to how people dress out here. I never really paid attention. Yeah. I guess I'm so like, Head down. It's like, leave me alone. <laughs> Plus, when I went to Charleston, people dress a certain way too. They're yeah. like Southern Bells. Yeah. They have, they, I mean, they stood out. I mean, definitely a very Southern, I mean, it, it's very nice. I'm it's, not saying it's not. It's it, very nice. It's definitely different from New York because New York, everybody dresses nicely. To right? the nines, right? Yeah. But Whereas other places, everybody's... It's like, like long, it's like dresses, like these long, beautiful dresses people wear. I was watching this <laughs> vlogger and they live in South America. They moved from the U.S. to South America. I think it was like Colombia, one of those countries. And she was saying that she and her husband um, said that um, one of the things they notice is that in America... <laughs> Well, we dress more sloppy and we don't put any effort into how we look. Whereas in South America, just to go to the store, people yeah. dress up. And it's yeah. just like, why? Yeah. <laughs> but at the same time, I see what you mean, though. Because yeah. I have fallen into that 
you know, that I won't say a trap, but I've fallen into that lifestyle where it's like, you know, I'm going to the store. I need to be comfortable. I need to be moving. I'm throwing on sneakers and whatever, right? And yeah. I'm going. But it's like, I don't want to be putting on flats and nice pair of jeans and a nice top just to go to the grocery store. Yeah. yeah. You know? Too much. It's too much. Now, if I'm going out to dinner, yeah, I'll put the effort and look nice. Mm -hmm. But, yeah. You know? Yeah. Like, we went out to dinner the other day. Um, it was a U support Ukrainian, Ukraine menu, special mm -hmm. menu they had. And, um... We dressed up. I mean, not dressed up. I mean, we, put, nice. we put on jeans and a nice shirt. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And nice shoes. Yeah. And then, you know, other people, you could see they kept it simple, right? Yeah. So, like, yeah. It's just... It's, it's funny. My girlfriend's husband, I went to pick up my daughter from her house one time, and um, we had just come from church. And I had on jeans, mind you, right? But I had on high heel boots and, you know, other stuff. And uh, her husband was like, oh, aren't you dressed up? And I was like, oh, jeez, aren't you dressed up? I'm like, okay. Come on, with pajamas. <laughs> but, you know, it's like, people think that's dressed up, you know? Yeah. So, I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. But um, it's a pity that you have to undo this. All right. Well, undo. I don't know about undoing color work. Okay. I don't know. Maybe um, block it, re block it, and sell it on Etsy. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, we won't tell if you guys don't tell. Nah, I won't. I'm, but it's consignment, you know. Yeah, and the consignment because it's that yarn is not cheap. No, it's like what a couple hundred dollars sweater. Yes, right? that's my point. It's not like you, you know, you sell on a twenty dollars sweater. All right. So yeah. So anyway. Yeah. My well. Point. So that's it. That's what we have. Um, so we'll try to do the um, next time. I think we want to do scrappy yeah. project ideas. Yeah. And we have some other ideas. Yeah. Feel free to, um, you know, um, let us know about any other ideas. I know some people did leave us some ideas, so we're adding it to our Cute. list. Mm -hmm. And so we'll definitely, whatever you suggest today, we'll add it on and so on and keep yeah. going. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's it for now. We'll see you again in a couple weeks. Okay, bye. bye.